hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to handle null values in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop if a variable is having a value as null then it is difficult to get the value of it first of all what i will do is i will create an input variable i will name it as json data json input and external name i will keep it as same in the default value i will create json data for that I will give the key as first name first name is going to be Peter last name is going to be null and I will specify the country as Australia right i will create another record which is again going to be the same key value pair that is why i'll just copy it and here i will name it as johnson I will keep it as work and the country is going to be null okay first of all what I will do is I will use this convert JSON to custom object here I will specify the input which is JSON input and I will replace this variables produce to JSON as custom object now what i will do is i will use a for each loop here i will specify the variable which is json as custom object and i will rename this store into variable as current item now i will use the message box i will use display message here I will specify the value which is going to be last name and I want to show the country I will click on keep message box always on top then I will click on save the moment I will run it you will see that it will generate an error saying that it does not have a property called last name and the country as you can see it does not have a property called last name but if I check the variable which is JSON as custom object here you can see that it is having no value the moment you click on more you will see that it is again having no value but if you want to access this value you can use json as custom object zero last name and if you try to do that let's do that what i will do is i will use this current item and then it was as you can see here it was a dot right dot json as custom object zero and then last name i will go here i will take the variable which is json as custom object 
I will remove this percentage sign and here I will specify the index as 0 and then here I will specify the key which is last name let's see if it is working so I will click on run from here you can see that current item does not have a property called JSON as custom object which means if I follow this method also the way it is given still it does not work correct now how do I handle this situation to handle this situation what we can do is I can use replace action I will use replace text here I'll here I will specify the input which is JSON input what do I want to find I want to find null and I want to replace it with the null value okay I will store it in the JSON input let's see if it is working I will right click and say run from here again you can see that it says it does not have a property called last name check the output and again you can see the same situation it does not help in any way now let's do one thing I will replace it with let's say double quotes now let's see if this works and this time you can see that it is having it is able to handle the situation right you try with another value it is null so this is one way to handle this situation right another way that we can have is we can use the regular expression to handle this situation okay in that case what we can do is in the regular expression we can try to specify that if the null value is starting with colon right and after this the value which is going to follow is it might have no space or more than one space right and then it can have this null value correct in that case what I want to do is I want to replace that with only this null okay now I will click on save and now I will run the bot now you can see that it is still able to handle the situation correct so I have shown you how you can handle the null values in power automate desktop so there is one way where you can directly use the keyword that you want to find and you need to replace that with the exact same value but that should be in the string format another way is that you use the regular expression and in that case you need to specify this regular exp expression which is question mark less than equal to and the null value should be always starting with colon and it might have 0 
or more than one space and then you will have this null value after this you need to replace it with exact same value which is null in the string format right and then you can run the bot i would recommend to use this regular expression method to handle the null values in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day